This is a Game Caviar production. Yep, not happening in the Game Caviar Studios. First video of 2013. Happy New Year to everybody. It's in Game Caviar. Right now, I have a gift from you that I picked up from another video. I was looking at one of uh, Shibby's videos. He's part of um, Machinima. He he put up a video. And it was just a video, you know, how to get better at uh, Black Ops or the best class, something around that. Uh, what he did was he basically laid out a class and he said, look, this is a very good class. You should try it out. And I did. And I did really good. This is the match what I, I did really good at. And I figured I'd pass that on to you guys. So you should see the end of the video. It was really good. But before I get into the class and everything that goes into it and why I think it's awesome... Uh, I need you guys to go ahead and press uh, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Uh, 2013 is going to be an amazing year for Game Caviar. Everything that we've been planning for the past year has is really starting to come together, especially within the past month or so, or the past week. And we're always striving to bring you guys the best content as, po as, as possible. So please, subscribe to the channel. And show us some love because we have a lot of good things to come in store for the subscribers. Now, this 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 class right here is amazing. You see, I'm using a MP whatever, the MP7. Uh, you don't have to use that gun. I was just using it because that's what he used. But in this video, he said that you could use anything. You could use whatever uh, SMG that you want to. I don't know whether it's gonna work this well with uh, with assault rifles, but with e SMGs, it, it works pretty well. I've used this and I've used the Scorpion, and it, it and honestly, either either gun will work. So, um, what I have is no explosives, no tactical grenades, no secondary, none of that. Not because you don't need that. Why do you need that? You know, uh, Rambo didn't have a secondary. He didn't have any. He had grenades, but you know, whatever. My what is it? My perks that I have in this class, the ultimate class, hardline, lightweight, toughness, dexterity, and tech mask. I never used tech mask in this game until I set up this class, so I didn't quite understand how amazing tech, ma tech mask is. Kind of a tongue twister. It's pretty good. If you ever get annoyed by those stupid shock uh, dildos they have stuck around, on the map uh, that will tech mass is how you get rid of that problem basically it allows you to just run and go right through them and that's why I love tech mass now because those things are freaking annoying hardline really it gets your kill streaks earlier lightweight makes you move faster toughness I don't I don't know what toughness I, I forgot what toughness the one of them stops you from flinching when you're getting shot and one of them is, uh, what is the other one? Like, does it stop you from shaking when you're shooting, aiming down? Or I don't know. Anyway, it works out pretty well. Like I said, I'm using the MP7 right now. You don't have to use the MP7. You can use whatever you want to use. I try it with an assault rifle. Please try it with shotguns. I don't know. I don't know whether it's going to work out too well. I mean, I don't know whether it, it'll work the same with anything other than an SMG. But what I do know is that if you use this class with an SMG and you have an aggressive playstyle, a rushing playstyle, this will work out for you. I would also, uh, what is it? I would also recommend it, the silencer because that also will help you stay off the map. Uh, you could use, I don't know whether, I don't know what ghost what perk slot ghost is, is i just got killed on some bullshit if you go back and look at that that kill was 100 percent grade a usda bullshit um i don't know what what perk slot ghost fits into because i don't use it but I, if you really wanted to stay off the map you could swap out one of these for ghost i don't know maybe you can maybe you can't you could tweak it to whatever you want to but as it sits right now I would, I, I definitely love the way this is. I was going to say that you should swap in uh, extreme conditioning, but actually, I, I wouldn't. Maybe you could take off dexterity and put in extreme conditioning. No, extreme conditioning, what is that? What does that fall into? Is that, I don't know. Uh, somehow, I don't remember the exact details, but I know I was like, I wish I could get extreme conditioning, but then I looked at it and I was like, eh, it's really not going to work out. But 
I've been using this for the past couple days and I've been on absolute beast mode. Like this match right here, you gotta see the end of this match. It, it is, it, you gotta follow it all the way through to see exactly how how good of a setup this really is, especially with this play style. And look, I'm playing on Nuketown. Remember, I put up a video a couple days ago and I was like, hell, I haven't seen Nuketown at all. It turns out that within the normal game, you're not gonna see Nuketown. You have to actually go through the bonus content, and then that's where you get to go to Nuketown. I guess when they have their 20, their double XP weekends or whatever, it's, it's Nuketown 24-7. But during the week, they have it to where it's uh, like, um, I think it's called the Chaos Mosh Pit, where it's the smaller maps, and you just play these fast-paced game modes. Sometimes that's hit or miss, man, because... One time I played it and it was like hardline and kill confirmed the team deathmatch and it was on smaller maps that are awesome. And then one time it was like nothing but search and destroy and um, like capture the flag, which I don't play capture the flag that much. I know guys who love capture the flag. I don't play it that much. Every time I played capture the flag, it was not like a fast paced gameplay and search and destroy is like, they might as well just call that camp 24 seven. That is the, the definition of a slow gameplay. So I don't know why. It's certain things, man. It's like they have good intentions in this game and they just fuck it up every time. It's like that, that one person maybe at your job or that you knew grow, growing up that really tried and put 100% effort into it. It's like the Charlie Brown syndrome, you know? How Charlie Brown always wanted to kick that fucking football. I and mean, you, you rooted for him. You used to die. Go ahead, Charlie Brown. You kicked that damn football. You kicked the shit out of it. And, and every time he fell for the same damn trick. And it's like, stop it. Oh, you know, that kid that always, when you grew up, he tried to give 100%, but he always sucked at everything. But you felt sorry for him because you're like, fuck, man, you're really trying. You're just not getting it. It's like that way with Call of Duty. Like, these guys, uh, I don't know. I mean, they try to do shit. And they just screw it up. So I, at this point, I, I'm just not feeling sorry for them at all. It's more of a, you guys just need to get your shit together. I paid for this product. Um, that right there, I don't know how the dude who ran and knifed me didn't get shot in his head. Seeing as how the guy that I was shooting at was behind, directly behind him. And it's things like that. It's little things like that that I notice, and it, 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 it's irritating, man. That should have been a double kill because I shot the one dude. I shot him in his head. The dude that was laying down, and the guy that jumped in front of me that killed me with a damn knife he should have got killed too this game defies the laws of physics and it's it's not fair it's just not fair uh no nah, i'm not really crying but still it's not fair so uh first video of 2013 some of the things that we have coming up for in game caviar skype dual comms finally got everybody on skype um uh, B20 just put up a video the other day. I'm working with him so he can get everything set up. He has the good uh, game kill. caviar intro and outro. Uh, everything is really coming together really, really good for game caviar. So uh, 2012 was more of a foundation year, getting everything set up and getting established. Now that game caviar is more of an established page with uh, almost a thousand subscribers, we can start to really put in motion. Uh, well, not put in motion, but really start to uh, come together as a team and put together some very great content. You can guarantee that we're going to have the, all the newest games on the channel. And you can guarantee that we're going to put out very informative, funny, entertaining videos for the subscribers. Because we are here to for you guys. You know, you, know, you subscribe to the channel for a reason. And you know, it's... It's up to us to keep up our part of the deal and give you guys really good videos. So in 2013, that's what we're going to do. So just stick with us. If you, I mean, and I, I love every single last one of you subscribers. You guys, your caviars and your caveats, you guys are awesome. Um, everybody that's going to come on in 2013 is also going to be awesome. And they're going to see that this channel is really good and we have some really good content. So as always, like, comment, subscribe to uh, this channel if you haven't already. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. Happy New Year. I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.